What's good, everybody? I hope it's a lot. They want to tax you for this. They want to tax you for that. They even want to tax you after you pass. These people want health care to be free, yet they literally want you to have to pay money to die. Does that make sense? Joe Biden, a guy who's never owned a farm, never ran a business, never even worked for one, wants to punish farms and businesses for being successful. Every paycheck Biden has received for the past 50 years has been taxpayer funded. No wonder the guy wants to raise taxes. The new death tax would apply to many people making under 400000 which goes completely against what the media and Biden campaign have been saying for the past few years. It's yet another indirect tax that will impact roughly 95% of farms plus the middle and upper middle class. Ironically, he wants to do this through the American Families Plan. Yeah, a plan to take American families' hard-earned money away. So the technical procedure to implement the death tax is to do away with what is known as step-up in basis. So the original cost of an asset, whether it's a farm, home, certain retirement portfolios, would be the tax basis. Now the fair market value of that asset at the time of death, which is much higher or stepped up, from appreciating over time is what the beneficiary would typically receive as the new tax basis or a stepped up tax basis, effectively doing away with any capital gains tax from the deceased. Now, if you wanted to rent out that asset, whether it's land or property, the step up in basis results in a larger depreciation expense on rental income. Biden wants to eliminate step up so that rightful heirs will pay much larger taxes on the assets they inherit and much higher taxes on rental income. This is only going to cause even more inflation for food, home prices, and the cost of rent. Those are, those are pretty important things. Food, houses, rent. Pretty important. Really, it's a tax on the American dream. People work their ass off to build a successful farm or business to pass on to their family, and Biden wants to punish that success. Remember when Obama said, you didn't build that? Well, actually, yeah, Kami, the people did build that. Now, the media won't report on this. Many people aren't going to know about this. So please, like the video, share, leave a comment, subscribe, help get the word out. Republicans in Congress are bashing the idea so large that they're calling it a supercharged death tax. Congressman Kevin Brady of Texas says that over the next 10 years, the plan will cost 1 million American jobs, slash paychecks for American workers, and cost the economy about $100 billion in revenue. So let's just hope that the American Families Plan, the plan to take their money away, does not pass Congress and does not end up on the president's desk. And moving forward, if you don't like high taxes, if you don't like the government stealing from citizens, if you don't like people who have never created anything in their whole life stealing from people who have, make sure you don't vote for the political party that supports high taxes or any politician who is weak and will crumble when the pressure is on. We need strong, American first, pro-freedom, pro-business, pro-common sense people in Washington, D.C., and it's up to you and I to get them there. And thank you for watching. This is Freedom First Entertainment and Education, fighting for a new free world. Shout out to all of our followers out there in the free world gang. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow anywhere online, Freedom First E&E, &E, or our website, freedomfirstee.com. Thank you and make it a great day.